Hello, welcome to the RC Pilots Log. My name's Rob. This is the third episode of my Aero Tetris CASA C101 Aviojet project. Things are starting to get a bit more serious with the project and I need to begin thinking about the technicalities and the electronics of a model of this size. More on that later, but for now, let's press on with assembling the fuselage. I previously separated all of the fuselage sections into one bag, so they're emptied onto the workbench and the first set placed together. Using the same method as the nose, I'm aligning the centre spar bore and then working outward, adding the other sections. There's a brief flurry of excitement as one of my sons brings in a delivery a nice 10mm carbon fibre yeah. spa that I can't resist yeah, trying for size. Okay. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Too exciting. Some time later all of the fuse sections are assembled and the D3 Gorilla Glue has had enough time to form a good bond. Moving the pins can be a little laborious, 
Conveniently, the RC community is full of fantastic YouTubers, and none I enjoy more than the Petronitz brothers. Big salute to them. Find their channel in the description below. With all the pins removed and a one meter spa to hand, there was no option but to mock up this great bird. Before I can progress much further with the fuselage, I need to make some decisions on the size and location of the electronics. There's a couple of key factors that are predetermined that make some of those decisions for me. The model is designed for a 120mm EDF and the schematics show a maximum of 800 grams for the unit. The model's recommended maximum takeoff mass is 6.3 kilograms and my club's flying limit is 7 kilograms, so I need to find an EDF with enough thrust to make it perform like a jet. Six to seven kilograms seems light to me for a model of this size, so I'm gonna to have to monitor my weight closely. It will soon add up once I include a minimum of eight servos, an ESC, BEC, batteries, and landing gear. I'm gonna be using a minimum of 12S 8,000 milliamp batteries to get the flight time and the performance I want. Once I've chosen an EDF unit, I can think about how and where to mount it. The schematics show the unit quite far to the rear of the plane, around section 29. I think I'll make the top half of section 9 and its adjacent sections a removable access hatch. I'm planning to make the canopy removable and possibly mould a clear plastic canopy with some scale cockpit details inside. I'll simply cut away the foam in that area and either use it as a mould or use the foam itself. While I work out where I'm going to get the funds for all of this, I can at least assemble some of the main sections of the fuselage around where the electronics are going to be and I can also make a start on the wings and the tailplanes. Thank you once again for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the progress so far. I'd really appreciate it if you would take a moment to click subscribe and help the channel grow. In the future, it will help me bring new projects and also hopefully some product reviews. Happy flying.